Hi, I'm Nikki Reddick from Washington County, and I have a son who was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. He is minimally verbal. He has a couple words like mama, um, bye, okay, drink, and a couple others, but he primary, it primarily is echolalic, meaning he repeats a lot of words that he hears. Over time, what I have had to teach myself to do is to really speak Jackson. But again, that's learning to speak a whole different language to be able to help my child and in turn having to teach other people how to speak Jackson to be able to help him from his teachers to my mom and my sister and her family. Um, that's been a whole different way of living and thinking than I think most parents expect. I am a single mom. I have been very, very, very fortunate to have my parents. Um, and the biggest support besides myself and my mom, my son had was my dad. And when he died unexpectedly, that impacted Jackson more than I think people realize. And he, again, he couldn't communicate or tell us what he was feeling. And understanding how to get him the help he needed to tell us that. And I don't share this because it's a sad story. I share it because we all lose people every day. And I don't think, generally speaking, people realize how much a change that big can impact someone with a disability, especially like my son. My biggest fear is the day that I'm no longer able to support him. I know there are more parents out there like me. I know there are more children out there like Jackson that need this kind of support and needing the support with learning how to navigate a system that is kind of tricky. And um, it speaks its own language sometimes, just like my son speaks his own language sometimes. You have to learn how to speak that language to navigate the system a little better. I would like to see the ability to navigate the system and it be funded and staffed and able to be ready to go and serve people as close to immediately as possible instead of having to wait so long for services or even being able just to talk to somebody directly at an agency. That would be so incredibly vital to someone like me, who again, I'm out here doing this pretty much on my own. I have support, my son has support for care at home, but in terms of navigating things, it's just me. Our care matters.